What's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a very special guest. I got Lance on the channel and he was able to land a job in digital marketing in about four months or so after discovering it on my channel. So Lance, thank you so much for uh, coming on and sharing your story today. Yeah, no, thank you for having me, Shane. It's an honor to be here, man. Awesome. So uh, let's go ahead and just start from the beginning. Maybe just tell the audience a little bit about your background and kind of where you came from and how you discovered digital marketing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so my background, I graduated with a bachelor's in health education back in 2021. Uh, once I graduated school, I, I and I'm, I graduated in Arkansas, so took off from Arkansas to Colorado for six months to do an AmeriCorps VISTA service uh, term, which is a federal volunteer program. Basically, that program got cut short due to both of the organizations I was working for dissolving. So that left me to move back in with my mother around December of 2021. I lived with her and worked at Chick-fil-A for about a month and realized that I just could not take living with her anymore. So took off. Uh, luckily, I had a friend back in central Arkansas that was willing to house me while I got on my feet. So I took off back to central Arkansas, started living with him, lived with him uh, from about February or until about February, and then finally moved into my own place. I was working fast food. Uh, that job maybe lasted of uh, two months. And then I started working in a warehouse and then that job, that job basically lasted like two or three months. And then finally I landed a job in public health uh, at a local health unit here in Conway, Arkansas. And from there uh, I made it three months in the public health system. And uh, at, during this whole time, I had been watching your videos. I was watching a lot of your tier videos on uh, basically just ranking college degrees, trying to figure out my path listen to a lot of Dave Ramsey he was getting really heavy into personal finance. I've always been in a personal development. So I was really honing in on trying to get out of debt. Uh, I, I have 50k of student loan debt. So it was really weighing on me at this point. And I just knew the only way that I was going to make this happen is to get a bigger shovel. So started exploring more around your channel, found your uh, interviews between you and Seth and some of the other alumni from his course. Bought the course back in August, at around the end of August, completed the course in about a month, and then immediately started applying to jobs. I had been generating my own experience, done everything in the course. And from there, I started getting interviews from the company that I work at in around November, and then ended up getting a job offer for 51 k in December. And yeah, I've been with the company for almost a month now. And that's where I'm at today. Man, that's awesome. All right. Well, you told basically the whole story right there. That's uh, you went all the way through it, but that's good, man. Um, cool. So I, I like that analogy you used about the uh, the shovel. That's a great analogy. It's basically like there's certain career paths where, you know, the, the analogy is kind of like shoveling dirt. If you want to make more money or shovel more dirt, you, you just need to get like a big shovel because there's certain career paths that are like you're trying to shovel dirt with a spoon. I mean, it's just, yeah, you're, you're pretty much never going to be able to reach your personal finance goals uh, with those types of career paths. But, you know, then there's other career paths where you get a nice big shovel and it's like pretty easy to, to shovel dirt or, or make money. So, yeah, I really like that, uh, that analogy. Dave Ramsey, he's, he's good. I, I don't agree with everything he says, but he gives really good advice overall. Uh, especially when it comes to just like staying out of debt and and uh, and just kind of like good advice for the, the average person, I'd say it's like really good. Advice yeah, overall. yeah, and that, yeah. I think that's a lot. There's a lot of value in just that alone, just staying out of debt, just really getting just get, getting rid of that mentality of like this is just how it's always going to be. That paycheck to paycheck. Oh, I'm just going to stay broke. Woe is me mindset that a lot of people get stuck in. Uh, I do appreciate the kick in the butt that I got from that for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he kind of has to be a little bit extreme, I think, just to get that message across. Um, like, you know, with, with people calling in and stuff like that, I, I, I get it. I get it. He has to be a little, little extra just to get that, that message across. Um, and yeah, it's one of those things where it's just so accepted in society that 17 and 18 year olds should be able to take out a hundred thousand dollars to get a bachelor's degree it's like totally accepted in society yeah oh yeah spend a hundred thousand dollars 
to get a, a, a degree where honestly, most degrees are useless. You know, there's certain degrees that are great um, and they will give you a good ROI. And then a lot of them are useless. And that's just, that's just kind of the, the fact of the matter. Um, and I think you were kind of, you were kind of telling me like before the, the interview, kind of your thoughts on that, you know, so you got a, a public health education degree, I believe. And first of all, you had a lot of trouble even being able to get a job in public health. But then when you actually did get a job, you ended up really not liking it, unfortunately. Um, so can you kind of talk on that a little bit more? Oh, man, I'll try not to get too pessimistic on this one because I, <laughs> man, I realized, I realized in my last semester of school, I was doing an internship. I was doing an internship at a local hospital. It's one of the biggest hospitals in central Arkansas, in Arkansas, actually, period. And I realized that that was basically, it was kind of like this mirage, honestly, it was like of it was like an illusion of like where I, you know, like where it'd be nice if I could work. That wasn't really where a lot of the jobs were in my field at all. Uh, mm -hmm. Why was that even an opportunity for me? I have no idea. So basically, I was working at this hospital getting this patient education experience, which is actually a job that mostly 99 percent of nurses do. Like I just mm -hmm. so happen to be like the one percent they got tossed into this role uh but that experience just did not count towards anything public health related so mm -hmm. it left me in that last semester I'm, I'm trying to apply i'm like hey i got three months of this and they're like well you've never worked in government and it's like well it's like well that's fantastic you know i have like this healthcare experience but uh no applicable skills to the workforce that i'm even trying to go into so it was like my degree program set me up for failure rather than setting me up for success. And so mm -hmm. it was, yeah, it ended up being a total waste of money uh, for the four years of education. And then on top of that, it's like a slap in the face. It's like, we're going to give you like this experience that is also useless. So it's like mm -hmm. to go with your useless degree. I worked in the local health unit and I was basically like a glorified cashier, uh, capped out at 35K. And the opportunity that I had was to, you know, work through that for a year and then potentially make 45 K. And then I was looking at more of the opportunities. It was like max I could make was like 50 K without getting a master's degree. So I have to go like, you know, I have to go another 20 K into debt, you mm -hmm. know, just to go make 50 K. Uh, whereas in digital marketing, my first offer after completing Seth's course was 51k. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's, that's first year. That's I, I built my own WordPress website, ran my own campaign for one month, and then started applying for jobs. I managed maybe like $150 on that campaign. Mm -hmm. Fast forward, I'm now making 51k. And I'm managing 30 to 50k a month in ad spend on Google ads, $500,000 a year. <laughs> that's a huge leap. Yeah. That is an absolute leap. And now, now what that's taught me is since my starting salary is so high and I'm already getting this hands-on experience with this much ad spend, I now like I can now choose to never manage less than that or make less than that. Like it's just not going to happen. And I just like I it, it was like I the career path to me getting that was like maybe 10 years in extra education in the path that I was on. Whereas now it was like, it, it's like, I'm basically, I, I'm just on a rocket ship to my goals right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, so the, the salary is awesome, but what about the other things like work-life balance and, and just job satisfaction in general compared to what you were doing before? It's amazing. Uh, you know, I, so I don't work from home, but I do work remotely. I work in a co-working space uh, just for mental health reasons. But yeah, I mean, I'm able to go in whenever I want. If I don't have 8 a.m. meetings, I don't have to be on at 8 a.m. I'm an early riser. So I just I just like to be kind of like in whenever, you know, whenever I can. So I'm just up and at them. But I mean, the work life balance is great. You're not expected to be, you know, like on the clock. There's no one watching me. 
Uh, they're not monitoring my, you know, how many times my mouse moves or whatever, and like how long I'm online. It's all basically, it's just, am I producing output? In my meeting, like I go over the weekly priorities with my boss and I, I choose, okay, where am I going to go above and beyond? How am I going to do that? How, what, what are the hours it's going to take? Uh, how much work do I need to stay late today because I have a deadline tomorrow? It's just, you know, it's just, I have the flexibility to do that. And if I need to go grab, you know, food or go to an appointment or whatever, I don't have to take PTO. I don't have, you know, it's just maybe I work a little bit later or I don't have any deadlines to meet and I've completed all my work for the week. So if I need to go catch a dentist appointment on Friday to get my teeth clean, then I don't have to make that up. It's just, there's that option. There's so much flexibility in that. Got it. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And it's only going to get better from here. I mean, you got your first entry level job, you got your foot in the door. That's always the hardest thing to do. Getting that first job is always the hardest. It's honestly, it just gets easier and easier after that when you have that valuable skill set. Um, so what would you say to somebody who's kind of on the fence uh, about the the course, which by the way, I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. A uh, free masterclass from Seth. He basically explains the different types of digital marketing, different career paths you can go down because there's more than just like pay-per-click. There's also SEO, SEM, et cetera. And uh, he explains what all those things are because digital marketing is actually pretty broad uh, terminology. Um, there's many different career paths within it. Um, so I'll put that down in the description as well as a pinned comment below. You can check it out. But what would you say to somebody who's kind of on the fence about uh, taking Seth's course? Yeah, I would say... I would say if you're thinking that college may be the correct path and that this course, just because it's $700, that it's just useless, I would say first go try to find a negative review on Seth's course because you're not going to find one because yep. those who didn't who didn't land where I landed, they didn't complete the course and they didn't do everything that Seth talks about in the course. Those who did everything and stick to it end up where I'm at. 100% of the time. I, I haven't found anyone who was like, oh, I did everything correctly to a T and it didn't work out. It, it just, I have not seen that. And this is one of the only courses online that you will find like that. So if you're thinking like, oh, it's just a $700 course. I mean, this $700 course really gave me like, I don't like, I can't even calculate the return on investment here. Uh, <laughs> so I would say, yeah. just don't, just don't, you know, just don't live in that illusion that you have to go to school or you have to have this degree or, you know, whatever. Like this is, this is, this skill is hot. We're just in such a white hot market with digital marketing right now. Everything is exploding. And I mean, just look at AI and technology right now. Like it's all still rapidly evolving. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's not like none of this stuff is slowing down and AI is not going to take over. It's not the end of the world. No, like this is this this is just the beginning, man. And so if you're on the fence and you're watching this and and you know in your heart that college just you don't want to be in debt or you're tired of being in debt you, or you don't want to take out debt or you don't want to go to school and you want actual in-demand skills and you want that kind of flexibility. And of course, you like the work. If, if you're like, OK, I can I, I can do marketing. I, I, I'm into that. Go for it. Just send it. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned the AI thing. Yeah. It's like, that's what uh, the flavor of the week right now. Everyone's freaking out about uh, AI because chat GPT came out. In reality, it's, it's only going to increase the standard for what like good content or good marketing looks like. It's, yeah. It's going to help people who are already good at content creation, create better content. Um, it's helping me even a little bit. I use it a little bit, but um it's not going to take away the jobs. I mean, come on, this is like, it's, it, if anything, it's going to create more jobs. Look at every single time in history that something like that has happened. It just ends up creating more jobs. Uh, so it, yeah, it, it destroys like certain jobs, maybe like redundant jobs, but it creates more important jobs. So yeah. And then, uh, yeah, a few months back, everyone was freaking out about the tech layoffs because like, less than 1% of the tech workforce got laid off or something like that. So everyone was freaking out about it. It's like, come on, man. Yeah, there's, <laughs> it's just not going anywhere. Like, I mean, it's here to stay, like whether we like it or not. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, it, that's just the reality. Like no matter what you're seeing in newsfeed says, you know, it, it just, uh, that none of that matters. It's like, this is reality. Like we are here, we are in, 
the technology revolution in seven years, things are going to be way crazier than they are now. And we're just seeing the takeoff of everything. So it, it it's only going to get bigger. Like it's not shrinking. The market is not shrinking. Check out another interview I did right here with someone who was able to get a job in digital marketing at 16 years old. That's probably the craziest digital marketing interview I've done so far.